Shift got go kicking off to Stevie J with these Seahawks. Let's see. Let's go. Somebody's punching their ticket to Burbank, people. We are going to send somebody to the Madden Classic Finals. Shift got Cole, the Atlanta Falcons. Stevie J, the Seahawks. Stevie will get ball to start the game. Let's crown a champion. We gonna crown a champion today. I, if I had to give you a score, I, I do think this is going to be more of a, of a high-scoring affair. I want to say 28-24 Cole. Yeah. I really don't like the style of Stevie J's defense, but he has been getting the stops. Almost a 2-5 look here. The defensive tackle back He's in up. that bear. I like yeah. it. Now, what I'm going to be interested to see, will Stevie continue to give that same look out of that tight slots formation? Every time he's motioning that receiver, he's running the toss to whatever mm. side he motions him. You see the formation now. Let's see as he mix in some pass plays with that same motion that you are seeing on your screen. Yes. Toss to start the game, hit in the backfield, game tackled in the backfield, a hey. gain of nothing. Twitch seems to think Shift God Cole is the favorite to win, and it looks like everyone is just hopping on the cold train. They think he's going to come out and pull this out as third and five. Stevie J, you're going to have to stand up, look like you're out there by yourself fighting. He's been by himself all tournament. That's the way he prefers it. Let's see, can he pull it out for him and himself? Third and five. Motion in that bunch, probably that play action. You see the C route. He doesn't take the C route, but he does. He takes it late. Took it a little late. Didn't matter. Still picked it up. Same result either way. If he would have threw it a little earlier, probably could have got some yeah, yards he was, after the catch. He was open all day. Definitely. Definitely could have got some yards after the catch. Maybe rode that sideline for another 10, 15, 20. Either way, he picks up his first down, gets a fresh set of four. That's big. Let's see if Cole can stop this toss. You know it's coming. Toss right or toss left. He motioning that guy. It's a telltale. It's a toss. Good blocking that time. Better blocking that time. Falls forward. Stumbles forward. Maybe a gain of six. Probably shouldn't have picked up a yard. Now, this is the first, in, on stream at least, it's the first time I've seen someone try to stop this toss and bear. I like that idea. Yeah. This time he's in the 3 4 even. I mean, he's making a lot of adjustments to, to pull out a toss. You know what I'm saying? He most definitely is. Big hit. It's <laughs> going to be third and three. He's making a lot of bluffs to pull out a toss, you know? So is, is Stevie just waiting to that fourth quarter, 30 seconds left? He I mean, makes that motion. He All doing, of a sudden, he, he's there's doing two his, streaks on the field. Just fires one of them. He's doing his best Peyton Manning impression, you know, to Omaha. Wasting a lot of time, a lot of fake hot routes. And it's a telltale every side he motions that guy to, the toss is coming. I guess it doesn't matter because it's been effective all day. No I don't know about you, but if I see him motion that guy across, I'm running over there, I'm selling out. Let me see what you can do when you motion that guy to the other side if you want to flip it back. But I'm not just going to let you motion somebody over there again and again knowing that toss is coming. I'm going to go over there and let's see, what, let's see what can happen when I go over there. See, right now I'll be moving Ishmael over there. To win a tournament like this, to send yourself to Burbank, California, to get that golden ticket, you cannot lose to one play. Yeah. And this toss right, toss left. Second and five. Comes out in the tight slots again. He is going to run this until Cole proves that he can stop it. The bare look out of Cole again with the D tackle standing up. Right up dive. the middle. Finally, not a toss, a dive. Right up the cut. I'd even be happy to see the motion with a dive. I know he did that once against Joke. Maybe got a little scared because that motion receiver did run into his quarterback. Yeah, he did. Almost caused a fumble there. So maybe that's in the back of his head still. Do you run commit right here? I'm running commit. He running the ball. He, he figure he's running the ball. He has I to know run he running the ball. The ball. He's ha he has Here's to be the running the ball. He did run commit. Good play. That's what I'm saying. You have to take chances. You know a toss is coming third and one. What are we waiting for? I'm blitzing I'm running well. commit. Let's get this stop. That's a big stop on Stevie J. Definitely a stop in any kind of competitive Madden game. That first drive, you are definitely trying to feel your opponent out. Whether you are on offense or you are on defense, you're trying to feel your opponent out. If you are on defense the way Cole was there, anything three points or less, that's a stop in your book. Yeah. That's a good play call by Cole to run commit on that third and one. Now what Stevie did do there was take out 
over three and a half minutes from that kicked first quarter. We are he kicked it deep once again. He oh, it is he's six. going to the and house. Six. And he's going to the house. My man Shift got cold, getting jiggy, iggy, taking it to the house. Just like I told you, in the open field, he has the best stick out of all the Madden players this weekend. They cannot tackle this man. My man is so sticky. Open field juke, kick return, holds the button, does not want to see this block. Stevie has had some nice blocks. Oh my goodness. Misses that one, 7-3 without an offensive play. Shift got Cole up. I told you, they cannot tackle Cole in the open field. I don't know why people keep kicking it to him. Ooh. Cutting it to him. Big hit. Okay. Big I hit see it. Big, big, big hit. I don't know why they keep punting it to him, kicking it to him, throwing interceptions to him, letting him have that open field. Every time he's gotten the ball in open field, he has scored. Just needs he a little space to make a play. Oh, yeah. Just needs the space to make the play. Why flex out of Stevie here? We're not going to see talk. Steve! Does he make it back? I think he gets burnt. Big play. And a... Touchdown saving tackle by the corner there. That's what we need to see, Stevie J. We need to see you open that offense up. We need to see you blow the top off that defense. To beat a player like Cole, he's going to have to dig deeper in the playbook to. than halfback toss. He's going to have to. Two down linemen look again against this tight slots formation. Cole feels this is his best chance of stopping this. Finally, the dive on that Good same team. motion. Tackle battle one by shift god Cole. Gain of two. Gain of nothing, he fell back. Right back to the tight slots. Maybe he, okay. He's audibling out to Empire wide. And from tight slots where you figure he's gonna run the play every single time immediately to an empty set, what I try to do there is quick eye, quick eye, quick eye, quick eye, quick bluff, Quick bluff, audibling back, probably the toss. I just don't feel he's going back quick enough when he's going yeah, in and out of these formations. You can count on it. Open field for him, and he's going to get a seven right back. It's Ow. right back to the lead. How? Is anyone going to stop this halfback pitch? How? I mean, how? How is this toss still getting off? I mean, the crazy thing about it, you know it's coming. He motioning the guy over there. You know it's coming, and you know it's coming in everybody's game room from now on. I haven't seen on. nobody sliding no line over there. I haven't seen nobody sliding no linebackers. I mean, possibly blitz the cornerback, run cover two. I mean, maybe I, a bleacher I, blitz on something like that. I, I just don't understand how this toss is getting off like this. I'm not saying that it, they, you know, being small brains, but come on now. There's got to be make something else that you can pull out to make that adjustment to get that stop. Do not let him take your trophy with one play. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to beat me with this toss. Now, you can bomb me, catch me slipping. But you're not going to More beat power to toss. you at that point because you were the bed and matter play at that point. Do not let him beat you with one play. Sky kick that time, hoping not to get. Man, community, y'all better get in the lab because I promise you. The pitch is coming. I promise you. This toss is about to be the hottest thing out on the market. Y'all already know how y'all just copy and bite and hop on everything. They're going to be running toss, step, toss right all day. First and 10 now for Cole. Just over four minutes, just under three minutes to go in the game, excuse me. Two, four, five look from Stevie J here. It's what he's been in most of the game. Here we go, this is the play right here. We're gonna officially call this the play. Now y'all take a look at this. It's a lot of people that's gonna be open right here. Oh well, he audibles to the dive right here. Exactly, moving that wide receiver means he's going to the run play. Face 15, man. and that is a product of your strip mechanic and your coaching adjustments being on aggressive. Yeah, got him. And you see exactly what he does. He goes in there, he takes that off, makes sure it's balanced, makes sure there's no conservative, hoping that does not happen again. First and 10, fresh set of downs here for Shift God Cole. Needs a first down to get into field goal range. He bombed him. Does he make it? Sherm can't catch up to Julio. He says, we're not worried about field goal range. We'll take seven. The high-scoring affair is off to a great start. 
Julio! Manduli blowing the top off. Sherman cannot play Julio like that up on the line. There's no way. You're talking about 80 speed compared to 90 something speed. Shirley. 80 something to 90 something just ain't adding up. You're getting roasty toasted every time. Now, one thing I was slightly scared about there, a lot of times Sherman gets those long arm swats. Yeah. I think maybe if he would have tried to swat instead of the pick there, he may have got Oh, bang! We saw big that big hit. Real big hit. Stevie's starting to play with fire on these kick returns. That's the second time now he's got he, he's caught quite a hit in the chops oh, yeah. one of these hit sticks that Cole's shooting out right now. Yeah, Cole definitely out there kicking people in the chest. That's twice in a row now. Okay, this is where he got beat with that bomb again. He out of us down. He's probably going to run the toss. We can pretty much guarantee he's running the toss. Now he's, he spread that line back the out. Now goes to the dive. Right up the gut. Mm, so that's how Stevie J is going to scheme it. He's going to make him spread that line and try to stop that toss. And once you and do then, that, it's into the dive. And once he does that, he's going to open up and dig right in them guts. Hit that dive up the middle. First and 10 now, Stevie J with ball, down 14-10. Two and a half minutes left, Madden 18, Las Vegas, sanctioned challenger series. One of these two gentlemen is going to have an automatic uh -oh. berth in the Madden Classic Finals. Rawls is trying to make sure that it's Stevie J. Now, I like this manual adjustment here. What he's doing is he is taking his two highest hit power players mm -hmm. and he's moving them out to corner. Mm -hmm. Usually meaning he'll probably see him run a lot of cover two. Guaranteed. So that way when he tries to run that ball, Keanu Neal on the left is probably what he's hoping he's going to get. Yeah. Keanu can make that one-on-one -on -one hit, try to turn the ball over and give him one of them pendulum swings, get that momentum right back over to him. Yeah. Let's see will it pay off sometime in the long run. Two minute warning, second and six for Stevie J here coming out in this <coughs> Tight comes slots. the toss or the dive. I haven't seen one pass about this formation for him. A little bit of a DB shake look here. Maybe resetting that play over and over is what it looks like he's doing. Still not cheating on that toss. But toss he blown up that time. That might and be it's going to be third and long. That might be the answer. Might have to bring back the reminiscence of the 155 shake. And not Shaky bait. We might need that to stop the toss. Here we go in the bunch. Third and nine. Probably here. the play action C route like he ran that last time on third and nine. Let's see if that's it. He's gonna motion him across. I can guarantee you Lockett's gonna run that slant drag. He's going yes, it is the play action C route. He's covering it this time. He's wide on it, but he stops covering it. He I think he got it. Toes. He definitely Cole got it. was on it. He knew it was there. I don't know why he stopped covering it. I think he figured he was getting too close to the sideline and Russell was going to overthrow that. So maybe he thought Stevie wouldn't throw it and he was going to try to maybe go to the other he side was of the all field. Over. Just bad user that time by he Cole. He second guessed it came down and it was too much. There was too many people in the middle to throw that backside slant. I don't know why he came off that C route. Second and 10 now. Good use of that first time out. Cole trying to make it to where he can get the ball back in the first half, especially if he gets a stop here. He'd like, he wants that ball back to add on to that lead if he can hold him the three. Here we go. I, if you have noticed, people, Cole is put in the adjustment when he runs that tight slot. He starts shaking them linemen, shaking them linebackers. And now they're not shaking like they used to, but they move. They move. Another C route. Another C route. Oh! Picked up. Oh! Picked up. User pick play. The click on by Cole gets in position, takes it himself. As you see, that's a big stop by Cole right there. That's a big stop by Cole. That's a big stop by the Gator, Keanu Neal. He manually put him there to play that corner spot. It paid off for him in that first drive. Interception. Yeah, that was great coaching adjustments. Uh-oh. Big hit. Keanu comes up big for shift guy Cole. Can he add on to this lead? Stevie J has been known to be great running the ball. As you see, when he puts that ball in the air, that's when you're going to get your best opportunity versus him to get a stop. Stevie is the type of player you've got to force him to go. This third is and the longs. play. This is the play. He ain't running in a minute. Let me see. No, he's still not going to run it. He's going back to the split close. Good tackle. Very good tackle. 
Good stick control. Stevie's not letting Stevie's not letting that affect him. He's trying to get a stop here. A punt. Get the ball right back and see can he go to work and take the lead before half. Third and long for Cole here. Using the fullback wing package with He's Coleman at play. fullback. Look at all the people's open. He's not going to win. Going right back. He's probably going to play it safe. No. He's going back to the play. Back to the original there. Couple of hot routes, has to throw Coleman the ball is, here. How does he have Coleman at tight end? I don't know, but he's naked. So, if you'd like to know how he has him there, he's got Coleman at fullback. Okay. What he's using is the fullback wing package in that formation, which gets Coleman at that tight end position. Okay. It's all about manipulating your substitutions. It's all about manipulating your depth chart to get the exact look you want. That is tough. Cole is being glitchy out here. This man that got Coleman at tight end. Yes, the Falcons don't have a tough tight end, but if you put a running back there with 90-something speed, I like it. Hooper's underrated. Hooper's not bad. Here we go. Is he's he no going to run the play? I'm pretty sure he's going to run the play now. No, he's not. He's going to run the ball now. Not on second and 14. Oh, he did. He tried to catch him sleeping. Anytime you see that in this formation he's in, anytime you see that wide receiver move from that close yeah. outside wide, that's I know. a run. I just didn't think he was going to run. I mean, it was second and 14. I wouldn't have ran. Correct. I thought maybe he was bluffing. Oh, he's just going to take this in the half. He likes his lead. He doesn't want to do anything crazy. We've seen some people get ahead of themselves there. I like the play call there. Coach Cole's a smart, smart man. Definitely a smart Coach man. Coach is there. being smart, trying to play like a veteran, like he's been here before. Just play the game against Stevie. Don't play the game against yourself and Stevie. It's going to be 14-10 going into halftime. Cole is eight minutes away from punching his ticket to Burbank, California. Zeros on the clock. We will go into the third. Cole gets ball. That's why he didn't want to do anything crazy there. Great first half. Didn't want to give Stevie a chance to get any kind of fluky points. These guys are playing for a trip to Burbank, and they are playing for that trophy that you see right there. They're going to walk away from the Millennial Esports Arena with $1,000 with that hardware, with a ticket to Burbank, California. Cole said these are going to be the best eight minutes of his life. Let's see how they play out. Let's go. Let's see this offense. That's a nice trophy. That's, it's a beautiful That's trophy. a beautiful thing, man. I would love to get that thing to my house, put it up on the office. That piece of the Madden aggro crag. Here's the play right here. You've been waiting for it all day? God. Ooh, he made it in comeback yes, route. Put a comeback route on the outside receiver there. I like that. Oh, I'm still in that one, too. I like that. So instead of letting that motion man come across on that mountain route, he left him and let him do it. That was a comeback or that was a route? No, nah, that was a comeback, I believe. The way he took it out of the cut, I want to say that was a comeback. Here we go. Probably going to be off tackle to the right. Or maybe to the left, inside. A little fullback inside, that's right. Cole doing a good job here, milking the clock. He's man, in I'm control of this game. He's going to stay in control of this game. He's going to play his game. I like the manual milk. I really like this offense. I'm going to be all in his game room. Man. All in his game room. Cole, you got an open invitation to come sit on uh -oh. my couch. You live about 15 minutes away. Let's lab this up. <laughs> Second and one for Cole. And he ran this offense last year, too. He did. Very similar. Very similar offense. And the thing about it, I remember him playing games. I saw him pop magic a couple times. I was like, man, you know, I think it's bubblegum. But, man, hey, when you're in the finals, you know you start to pay a little respect. If this is bubblegum, this is the Bazooka Joe. It's Put the go to bubblegum. Oh, yeah. Second and one. Good D. Freeman now, five rushes, negative yards. Stevie doing a great job of stopping the run. Good, check good route out of the backfield. Also a good back juke there to miss that hit stick. There was a, a full-blown hit stick you saw coming there from Stevie J. Cole shows the best stick work in the nation right now. I said it, over True Boy, looking like the best player in the open field. Here's the play right here. No. Make the adjustments. Okay, he sent him on a fade. Still had the post. On slide with Matty, Matty, Matty Ice. Ice got some wheels to him. Matty Ice already has more rushing yards in two attempts than Freeman has all game. I'm taking all the adjustments, bro. I'm taking all the adjustments. Every hot route he makes, I'm all in the game. Two minutes to go in the third. Six minutes to go in the game. Call up four with he ball. Grand dive. finals. 
Here comes the dive. It looks sweet. I hand it off to him. It looks real sweet. It's almost as if he's begging somebody to run on him here. Oh, man. Just couldn't, just couldn't hit the gap. That's where I kind of missed that old PS2 animation where it gets skinny between yeah. the holes. When they used to do the Harlem, animation. Loved they used to do the Harlem shake and turn it. to the side. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I need that back, Chow. I need it back. Here we go. Third and three. Now he's running the official play. Here's all the hot dots. There's B naked. Post backside. Oh, he overthrown. Matty overthrows it. And Stevie's right back in the game. That is what you need to win these tournaments. You need a little bit of luck. It's okay to be good. It's better to be lucky. That's awful, man. That's that what you awful. need sometimes. Dude is completely Needed naked. And Matty game. Ice throws that ball like Maddie that. Matty Ice overthrew that while throwing across his body while she going he to the He bombed left. him. And just Get like it. that, it's a lead for Stevie J. Wow. Wow. Cole shaking his head like, how in the world did this happen? In less than 10 seconds, you Madden. Go, you go from a chance to go up 11 points running your offense to Matty Ice overthrowing that pass. Now, I'm going to be honest, he was rolling out to the left side there. He threw it across his body. It, it happens. Did not have his feet set. He is not that kind of mobile outside the pocket quarterback. A little bit of that has to go on Cole. A lot more of it has to go on the job. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. That was a wide open dot. Matty Aston had nobody around him, man. That was a dot. Why was he running away if there was I nobody I don't want to hear it. That was a dot. That's all right, Cole. Lock up and fight. They got you with the bomb. Lock up and fight. 17-14, Stevie J. Total offense, Stevie is just dominating this game. He just does not show up on the score. Look at the block sheds. Oh, boy. Here they go. Seahawks turning up now. Getting block sheds. Yeah, man, you're going to have to fight for this championship. When Matty Ice overthrew that ball, that hot dot, oh, yeah. That's the signal that you're going to have to fight. Coleman back in tight end. Second and ten here. User's favorite play. Oh, my goodness. Big interception by Earl Thomas. Oh my goodness, is he going to the crib? And he breaks Matty Ice tackle as you see him stand up. That one was just a bad read. Yeah, it was a bad read, but we shouldn't even be in this situation. It's all right, a lot of time left. You got the ball, maybe you can block this extra point. Oh my goodness. How this game has turned so fast. This is insane. 24-14, Stevie J. Like the momentum, the momentum is crazy. You overthrow a wide open naked dot, come back first place. Stevie J going for the juggler, bombs him. Come back, block shed. Now he's at looking at second and 10. He's feeling the pressure. And everything was pretty much covered. He throws right at Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas then breaks the tackle. I mean, Maddie yeah, it's a Matty Ice tackle. tackle. Maddie but, Ice tackle. but, hey, if that's me, Matty Ice tackle me, that's all I'm going to say. You know, like you, like you, one great user? Yeah, like, yeah. Or like, like you, Cam Chancellor? Like me, one great user. Okay. Oh, my goodness, another pick. And it's another one. Oh and that goodness. time, that's Cole throwing the yeah, triple coverage. He, He's in his own head. Oh, my goodness. He is in his head. You know what's so sad? What is so sad? He has been playing great the whole tournament. Almost perfect. And now he's just folding like a lawn chair. He's starting to look like the average Madden player online, making bad reads, terrible decisions, back to back. When he had this, okay, yes, Madden did stroke you with the overthrow. Now he's run committing all wild. Look at him. Oh, man. We are starting to see Cole unravel right before our eyes. If he dies, he dies. 24-14. We'll see one more snap. It'll probably be a pitch, and Stevie will take it to the fourth. How quickly can the momentum change in John Madden football? That's crazy. Stevie J going to try to finish this game out. Back to the tight slots. It's going to be a dive or a toss. Continue to run that clock. Toss left. 
That Man. will take us to the fourth quarter. He's in field goal range. Two things you can hope for if you're cold in this situation. A turnover or holding him to three. Anything else in this situation, and you may be looking at a second place prize. It's tough. This is real tough. I mean, last, Cole has been doing a great job when things have happened to him, staying composed and fighting. I don't know whether it was the lights on the stage, being the final game. I don't know what it was, but this time when he overthrew the ball, he just seemed to get rattled and started to panic and make bad read after bad read. And before you know it, it could be over. It could be over, just like this big play touchdown. Now he's up 17 in the fourth. Rawls breaks another tackle in the backfield, gets outside where there was just no containment because of the run commit by Cole there. If you're going to run commit against that formation, unfortunately, you manually have to take the outside because your run commit will always go to the middle, it seems. At least from what we've seen today, it looks to always go up the middle. He's going to have to manually guard that on the outside. 31-14, and Stevie is three minutes and 50 seconds away from Burbank, California. Yeah. That's tough, man. That's a tough situation. Like I said, you know, Stevie J played great, you know. But at the end of the day, Cole wasn't able to bounce back from that one bad pass that Matt Ice threw, and he just started to unravel. And, of course, we don't want to count him out too early. He's got all of his timeouts. We've seen him make some big interceptions. We've seen him get some hit stick turnovers. He's going to need a few more of those, but first he's going to need seven points. He's going to have to pull out all the hot dots he got. He got, look at the box here. Here they come off the edge. Mighty Ice, he's going to have to throw that away. No, he throws it to the check down to Ryan. Can he make a big play? Let's see. Oh, okay. I like that. Now, Cole would normally make that guy miss. What that was there, Stevie manually got him into position and clicked off, which kind of made Cole not want to get into that spin move. They don't seem to hit computers as much. Usually likes to juke. Good defense by Stevie there, manually getting his player in the correct position, letting Good the dive. computer take over from there. Oh, he tried to hurl it with Julio. He can get a touchdown right here. I'm not going to count him out because he has a very explosive offense. Come on, Cole, pull it together. Good pass. Big dot. Read. Gabriel eats a hit stick. Hurry up so he can get a playoff before the two-minute warning. First and goal. Needs this score so he can keep that free timeout while he's on defense. Good play touchdown. I still like Cole's offense, man. It is real nice. I mean, he just really made some bad reads and got rattled. Hopefully he can get up stop, get a stop. I would go for an onside right here. Shorten the field. Yeah, because I you, mean, because if he kicks three, it doesn't matter. Exactly, you can give up two. three. Exactly, you can give up and three. Usually, you definitely play a lot different side. when you go a lot different when you go for that onside. Let's see, does he have an onside kick? Uh, no, nah, I don't think he's doing this. Sheesh, you ain't gonna let the man wind his foot up with it. Nah, man, I don't. He ain't put no accuracy on it. Oh, he's gonna get it. Ah, that's big. Is that the glitch? You gonna oh, call my man's it. out before he even winds the foot up? Hey, man. I mean, hey, I guess that's the move. Hey, that's tough. Come on, Cole, fight for your life. Cole said he is not going to give away that trophy. You are going to have to rip it from his hands. That's Down big. 10 with ball. Three timeouts Bonded. still. And he wants seven now. And Julio was one tackle away. He picks up the biggest chunk of yards. Wow. Hurry up. He tries to score again before the two-minute warning to keep that on his side. Wow. If he scores right here before this two-minute warning, he's trying to hike this ball. He does the handoff. He walks on the end zone. And he and gets he in gets before the two-minute warning, makes it a three-point game pending the extra point. He still has all three of his timeouts. Go for the on side again. Wow. Go for the on side again because you know you can score seven. You, he showed us he can score seven every single time. Yo, this boy Cole, he's a bad man. He is a bad man. Stevie J, he's going for the on side again. Let me find out you got the glitch, boy. Oh, not that time, but it's okay. And he still he left keeps one the two second minute warning. on the exactly. time. Exactly. He keeps the two-minute warning. That is big. So he's going to have a timeout in his pocket. You know it's going to be nothing but toss left, toss right, dive coming. Unless Stevie J gets bold and takes a chance and tries to throw a hot one. This is the time you motion and you have him on a pass route. This is the drive you do it on. Toss left coming. He slides the line. Oh, my goodness, they picked up everybody. 
Boy, that toss is OP. In my opinion, this is the drive. You have him on a pass. That two minute one him saved him right there. Definitely did. He needed that. That's a and, and honestly, he's probably happy he picked up a first down there. Yeah. Minute 57 left. Three timeouts. Needs a stop. And a stop does include only giving up three. He has to stop this, this toss. He has to. Slides Troop Fine out to the side a little bit more. Obviously, the toss really only works when he motion that guy. Oh, he did to the fake. Oh, my goodness. So it was Ooh, a big hit. That's a fumble animation, too. You know that's a I, big time fumble big animation. Game. You know, I've been seeing all tournament that, you know, he isn't running it to the side, to the opposite side of the pitch. He just ran it right there, and that was, they were still getting good block. And for everybody out there paying attention, we just went aggressive on the tackles. We went aggressive on the strips. We want some hit sticks. We want some strip fumbles. It's time to sell out. Yeah. This is big. Manually controlling his best hitter. Gets out there with Keanu. Gets picked up. Breaks a tackle. First down. That's going to be the ball game. This ain't, this ain't salary cap. He can get one. He can get the ball back with a little bit of time. There's good, maybe 25 seconds. 20, 20 to 25 seconds. If I do the math correctly here, he can get the ball back with. This toss is tough. I'm not even sure I go to goal line here. He hasn't been able to stop the run. At, yeah, there you go. He hasn't been able to stop the run out of tight slots. I don't think goal line's the move there. I like him coming out and going back to tight slots. Solid awareness there. Second guessed himself. Probably Toss the right again. move. My goodness. This is going to be the first. No, he doesn't get the first. He calls the timeout. One yard, and we are going to crown a new champion. Stevie told me not two minutes before this game that when he got 33rd in the MCS standings last year, he felt worse than he's ever felt before, and he is going to feel better than he has ever felt before now because with that first down, Stevie J is your Madden 18 Las Vegas sanctioned Challenger Series champion. He's getting $1,000. He's getting a trip to Burbank. He's going to be in the Madden Classic Finals, and he just went through one of the best fields we've seen in years. Definitely. As you can see, Stevie J, he's overwhelmed with emotion. That's a big victory to come up there and beat Cole. Look at him. He wants it. He walked he goes, directly he walked to it. To his directly he to said, it. He said, don't nobody got to hand it to me, Drag. You better get up there. That guy, he's ready. He wasn't waiting on you. He is a champion. He has no time to so wait for me none of us. He wants his interview now. Drag, let that man speak on it. So, CB, how are you feeling right now, man? man I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I know you came up a little short last year, uh, finished uh, 33rd, wasn't able to make that trip out to Burbank. You're finally heading out there. Um, I mean, that was amazing. You played great all day. Um, is there uh, anything you have to say to your fans out there? No, oh, man, everybody doubted me. Not one of you, not one of you thought I was going to win this. Not one of you. I showed you all, man. Hey, I can't doubt you now, bro. Shout out to Fat Neck Nation, Jeter, T. Davis, Ryan Roberts, uh, Swizzy. And, uh, and uh, Cam, lockdown. Congrats again, man. We can send it back to Robin, uh, user. As you see, Stevie J overwhelmed with emotion right there. That's what it is, people. These guys fight all year long, fight all day. They put in incredible hours. You would not believe a lot of long, sleepless nights trying to grind and become great and to come out here and win. You can see Stevie J is just overwhelmed with emotion and joy. I know he's happy. Man. He came out here last Man. year, lost in the finals. I'm happy for that guy. He fought hard all day. It you see what everybody's getting here. Stevie J, you just heard from him. He gets that $1,000. He's headed to Burbank. He's in the Madden Classic. Cole takes the 2000 Drini and Joke both at 1500 True Boy, Strafin, Canes, Prodigy, they're all walking away with $1,000. The other most important thing about this that you're seeing on your screen right now, those MCS points. 250 points for Cole, 225 for Drini and Joke, 175 for everybody else. That means those seven names are now seven of the top 14 players in the world and have a chance to still qualify for Burbank, California.